Hi, this is Maria. Welcome back to Maddie's Way of Life. Here I go. I was desperate actually to work with my July monthly spread and this is what I'm doing today. I do have this MTA5 cover from Hobonichi that I was showing you right there. It does have those two bookmarks and it's just beautiful. I am going to work with July, not June. I kind of got it wrong there, so I'll flip it in a little bit, but I'm going, I'm actually getting the three sheets that come for the monthly. And I don't, I really don't use everything because I use some of it for like the weekly spread, sometimes even for my financial tracker Hobonichi, which is a Hobonichi weeks. Here I am using typically what is used at the top of a monthly spread. This size is itty bitty from Sweet Kawaii Designs and I like how it fits in my Hobonichi. It's not perfect but it does work with my monthly spreads and weekly spreads. I made it work for me. So here I am kind of struggling with that bottom monthly part. Um, I end up ripping the page just a little bit, but it's fine. In the end, everything turns out okay. So it's kind of hard to plan two months ahead. I obviously don't have all the details, but I do like to have it down just so that if any event or appointments come my way, then I am able to write them down with my monthly spread set up especially because if you've been in my channel you know that the reason why i put stickers or decorate with i don't know washi or maybe even just markers is just to come back to my planner it's already hard enough sometimes i get into planner funks as well and what makes me come back is actually stickering my planners so that's the only reason i do it i like to come back and i like to see that it has a theme or a specific color that I like. All right, here I actually put all the full boxes on Saturday and then decided to do like the week of the 12th to the 18th in like this yellow theme here. I don't know why, I just wanna take a, a breather. I don't even know. I just put it as a reminder to take a, yes, take a breather before I go back to work because on that last week of July, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go back and set up my classroom and kind of just check in and see what our new life is going to look like when we go back to teaching in the classroom since we did it all virtually this year um, or school year, I should say. So for 2021, 2022, I should be back in my classroom setting it up that last week of July if they allow us to come into our classrooms. And it's just a reminder of Maria, breathe with your family, take a small vacay, even if it's a staycation and just kind of figure something out here at home. But I just want to enjoy my family and enjoy my house before I come back to the everyday hustle. So that's that. And then I really don't know why I put all the food boxes on Saturday, but I just thought it would be okay to do that. I guess it's another reminder that it's my summer, that I deserve to take a break, and that I do not have to be planning or doing anything like that. So anyway, that's that. The day covers are actually super small numbers, but they're better than other monthly spreads. So I decided to put them on and they actually look really cute. I I already love this spread. Um, It's not, I don't know, I guess I wish all of them were pink, honestly, but that's okay. <laughs> um, that's one thing about Sui Kawaii Designs. This monthly sticker subscription is um, very theme like very summery like if it's summer is very summer like if it's valentine's is very pink and red or red you know things like that but it's fine um i i still like it because it's really budget friendly and it it just it just works for me really well um even though it's not accurately you know the size like for example that sidebar that i'm doing right now i really don't use it i just think it looks cute sometimes i will put an appointment or whatever but more than likely, I don't do anything with that sidebar. It's just for aesthetics, which is fine. It's totally fine. 
The only thing I'm going to include right now, because it is so far ahead right now, well, that's how it seems anyway, I am going to put in my the speech therapy for my daughter. Uh, she actually will have only one session per week in the month of July, only because the one she does two, twice a week, it's only during the school year. Um, so that's actually a good thing, right? I only get to take her in once. Um, she's doing really well, so I'm really happy about that. And I think that's all that I'm placing there. I'll probably put paydays. Yeah, I think I did put paydays. And then that's it. I really do enjoy this monthly. I hope that you do enjoy what I'm doing here. Even if you have bigger stickers, I think you can make them work in here. It's just a matter of adjusting certain things and making it your own. For me, it has worked all right. I have even thought about, here are Planner Kate stickers, by the way, um, for speech therapy. I love, love her stickers uh, or her script stickers, I should say. Um, anyway, um, what was I saying? I forgot. Yeah, I think make the, the kit work for you, um, basically. Uh, so I lost my train of thought and I'm so sorry, but... Yeah, here it is. It works for me really well. And I am just excited that I was able to do this monthly spread because it allows me to look forward and to plan things. And here I am trying to figure out. I got confused whether it was uh, speech therapy on Monday or Fridays. But I did look back and they changed it to Mondays. In my mind, it was Friday and now it's Monday. I'll actually verify because I'm having a session with her right after I am done with this voiceover and this plan with me. Thank you so much. I do plan to come back and do the weekly because I can do that as well. I can just set up the basics like in this case and then come back and fill out whatever I need to fill out when time gets closer. As well as I want to set up the index pages and the year at glance page. I did order some stickers from Boulder Bond I typically don't use those pages, but again, it's all about aesthetics and I didn't spend, I think I spent like, I don't know, $8 just on some stickers for those pages and just so it could look cute. And then of course, I do like to decorate the first, you know, cover page or whatever from this Hoanichi. Well, I think that's all I have. Here I am putting the paydays. I am glad you were here today. I'm excited that I could share this spread with you. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate. I do have a question for you guys, and I would like to know if you use sticker kits in your Hobonichi or what planner are you using? Because I've noticed that I'm really excited to change planners, even though, well, obviously it's technically the same one since it's in a VEC, it's just split into two. I just feel like I bought a brand new one and it gives me a fresh start. And I didn't realize I was going to feel so happy about that. I, it just, it, it really makes me feel good. It makes me feel good, especially because, well, March and April were not very successful for me. And I do I really don't want to look back at them, at least not right now. You know, life is life and it is what it is, but I like to get a fresh start. I really feel like it's January right now and that makes me feel happy. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate all the time you dedicate. Please don't forget to let me know what planner you're using or what sticker kits you're using or if you even use the Sweet Kawaii Designs subscription, I would appreciate if you let me know. I get excited. Let me know a little bit more about yourself so that we get to know each other. Love you guys. Take care, but more than anything, as always, God bless.